When business and unions unite, you know the government's plan isn't a popular one. We are very disappointed with the announcement today. It's not fair. Work covers been costing taxpayers a billion dollars extra each year. Now businesses will foot the bill, with premiums increasing from 1.2% to 1.8% in July. These changes are all about making sure that work cover is uh, sustainable. The work cover system in Victoria is no longer fit for modern Victoria. But slugging businesses a 42% premium increase to keep it viable is not the answer. And so employers are being punished for the incompetence of this government. The government will also introduce new laws to tighten the criteria for mental health claims. Workers who suffer from stress and burnout would no longer be paid weekly benefits, with mental injury claims making up 16% of the scheme. We will not stand by and see this scheme fall over. Uh, that means making difficult decisions. We don't want to see any injured worker miss out on their support that they rightly deserve. A new body called Return to Work Victoria will help injured workers get back to the office as soon as possible. While workers receiving payments for longer than two and a half years will need to meet a new impairment test to continue receiving benefits. It is just awful uh, to hear about what it's like to be in the long tail. You know, relationships break down. Uh, you get isolated from your work and from your colleagues. Work cover won't be the only program in the firing line as the government prepares for more cuts in Tuesday's budget. Economists warn that high interest rates, skyrocketing debt and cost blowouts could mean Victoria's credit rating falls to a historic low. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Melbourne.